time for Tech Tuesday. And are you looking to buy a new phone like that of the iPhone 5S or a new gadget such as the Samsung Galaxy Gear Smart Watch? Well, today we're going to tell you about how to make sure all of your information is transferred over during your purchase. Timmy Moore joins us now with the details. Good morning, Timmy. Good morning. Nice to have you here. Thank you. Um, so I was kind of, as, as you just said, I was going to kind of lead into really quickly here two rumors that uh -huh. are two, about two products that are probably going to be uh, hitting the market very soon. And, some, and they're both very exciting for consumers. And then if you purchase these devices, how do you transfer it over? Yeah. So what I actually have with me is not one of these devices, but I have <laughs> the uh, Verizon HTC One, uh -huh. which will be my uh, unit that I'll be using to uh, demo the transfer over. Okay. So first, I just want to talk about the Samsung Galaxy Gear smartwatch. Now, what the heck is a smartwatch, yeah, first off? Yeah. It's pretty much, if you think about it, a smartphone tied to your wrist. So you're used to the normal watch where it just tells you the time. Well, what if you had a smartphone, or what if you had a smartwatch, I keep saying smartphone, what if you had a smartwatch that told you the weather, told you what emails you had, because it tied to your phone, and you just had to look at your wrist, and you didn't have to take your phone out. Oh, that you would be nice. Yeah. That would be nice. It's exactly. not a phone, but it has all, like, the different applications, possibly. Exactly. Possibly. So, because we don't really know yet, but as you can see this picture right here, this is from Samsung's leaked marketing material. Uh -huh. So, as you can see, it is, we, some people were saying it looks very ugly, it's kind of bulky, um, it's pretty big on your wrist, so we'll have to see what Samsung does with it. Um, right. Apple's kind of been rumored to working on their own smartwatch, so we'll see what companies are going to start yeah, coming out with smartwatch-wise. <laughs> so the next one really quick is the iPhone 5S and the iPhone 5C. Uh -huh. um, it's rumored that if this model is real, that this has been taken a picture of, um, that this is the 5C. This is supposed to be the cheaper version of the iPhone. And as you can see here, it's going to come in many different colors, yellow, white, blue, red, green, all the different types of colors. And it's supposed to start at around maybe $400 off contract. So oh, it's, it's less expensive yeah. than the iPhone 5S, which I'm going to show you right here. So this is the iPhone 5S, um, which is what most people have now because obviously the 5C is not out. Right. But as you can see here, there's um, a champagne color, the silver, it, that, and the champagne's a new color coming out from right. I guess you could say the top of the line iPhone 4S, uh -huh. or iPhone 5. So you can see there are the three models. Now then really quick, I just want to talk about now transferring your information. So let's say you just purchased an iPhone or an Android device, or you just purchased a Galaxy Gear smartwatch. Yeah. How the heck do you transfer all the information <laughs> over? Well, there's actually really easy tools built into most smartphones. I know Samsung has them, HTC obviously has them, and then uh, Motorola has them. So it, this will vary depending on the device you get. Okay. But for the HTC One, if I just pop into settings and I scroll down a little bit, there will be a little setting right there called transfer, transfer your content. So okay. it can't get much easier. You just simply tap it and it'll ask you, hey, what phone are you coming from? Let's say I'm coming from an iPhone 5. I tap iPhone and it's going to ask me, how do you want to transfer it? Now, if you use iTunes backup, it's actually really cool. It can read those backups that you make for your iPhone uh -huh. and just put those on your phone. So all your texts, all your apps, if they're in the Android market or Play Store, um, will get transferred over. So you can simply tap. And it's pretty much a step-by-step walkthrough process. Yeah, so it's very yeah. easy, no matter which phone you get, to transfer your stuff over, whether you're going from Android to iPhone or iPhone to Android. All right, perfect, Timmy. Appreciate it.